So this is what my updated design look like. So I'm going to have image of the founder, some text here, image of the co-founder, some more text here, image of another random person, some text, image of another random person, some text. So I need to work out how many tables I need to, well, how my tables need to be separated. So what I've decided to do is to do multiple tables inside that same section. So I'm going to have, um, this is going to be one table here. So that's going to be one column, sorry, one row and two columns. And I'm going to resize the second column so it's smaller so i can put the image over here and the text over here do the same thing for this one and under here i'm going to put one row yeah and four columns and put that information in as well so to do that i go back to my dream over here let me get rid of this stuff here don't need that yep and inside of that table now this is not the best way to do this this is just a nice, quick, easy way to get your layout correct if you're doing it from complete scratch if you're not using a template Again, I do recommend you guys using templates on yours. When you know how to use these techniques, go ahead, find a template you like, and go ahead and edit it. Know that I've shown you most of the techniques that you can use. So inserting images, rollovers, all of that stuff. So I'm going to go to Insert, Table. And this is going to have, I think I said, one row and two columns. So I'm going to click Next in here so it goes inside of that table there. I can do one row, and I can do, what did I say, two columns. One row, two columns make it um, 1024, so 1024, click OK. It's going to insert a table inside the other table. It's a bit weird. Then I'm going to just resize this part here. But before I do that, I'm going to find an image that I want to put on this side and the text I want to put on this side. The text over here can be anything. So I'm just going to go and grab some lorem ipsum again and just copy some random Lorem Ipsum and put it there. I think I did that one the first time, so let me do this one now. Why not? Here's the image I want to use. And again, I'm just going to choose a random one and save it. So again, to save an image is typically uh, right-click on the image, go to Save Image As. I'm going to make sure that this goes into my right folder. So I'm um, in the Images folder. Um, I can just drop this anywhere for now. I can say Founder. That's going to be a, oh, see, that's going to be a WebP file. That won't work for us. It's a good thing I spotted that. I'll leave this in the video just to show you guys, well, not to show you, but just to explain that these files are not great. Typically stick to JPEG and PNGs. That one doesn't work. Just choose a different one. Um, I could use this one. This one is fine. Right click again, save image as. There's WebP as well. So maybe I should do Franklin GTA, JPEG, or maybe PNG. Really doesn't matter which file you use for this one. Because even if it has a blurred background, it's okay for a character. Um, yeah, I could use this one. For, uh, right click, save image as. That's JPEG, see? And this can be founder. That's going to be founder.jpg. I'm going to make sure I put it in my images folder. Save. Let me go ahead and insert this. And I'm going to use the lorem ipsum text I got from here as well. So let me make sure to copy that. Go back to my Dreamweaver now. And I'm going to get rid of this again because I had to go back and do something else, get rid of that, go back to insert, go back to table, and again, it's going to be one row, and what did I say, two columns for me, when it decides to come up, oh, he actually, click on next, one row, two columns, 1024 width, click on OK, on the left hand side, I'm going to have my image, so let me insert that from now, so again, you go to insert, you go to image, and you simply choose the image you want to insert when the thing pops up, so click on next because I want it inside that box. Images, founder, I'm going to click OK. It's going to bring that in. That's all right. And over here, I'm going to have the text. Now, what might happen is that I might have to resize this later on, but let me just paste the text in and see what it looks like. And again, I'm just going to click inside the box I want it to be in, right click and just do paste. That fills out that box. That's actually quite decent, the way it's laid out. But the next one might be slightly different. Right, so now I've done that one. I've gone into split view and I'm going to insert another table somewhere about here. Um, so I'm going to go insert table. I'm going to go next, make it one row, two columns again. The same table width, 1024 or 1024. Click OK. Let's see where that table ended up in the wrong location, 100%. So I need, so that's at the top. I need to move it underneath where this one is. So let's see if I can click on that table, see where it stops. Yep, copy all of this, actually cut all of this. So you can highlight it, right click and do cut. 
And the place I need it to be is after this one here. I need it to be just after that table there. So I think it needs to be here. I'm just going to get rid of this. Don't need that junk stuff there. I think this is where it needs to be. So let's just test it. Put a few spaces in there. Press uh, again, right click and paste. Let's see if it's in the right location now. Yeah, more or less. That seems all right to me. I'm going to go find another image for this one. So maybe I should do Michael DeSanta this time. I did Franklin first. Let me do Michael next. I think that's who I Googled first. Nope. So let's do M I C H A Michael DeSanta GTA. Uh, let's do PNG again. Again, I'm just showing you the entire process I used to get my information. Yeah, this is an okay image. Right click, save image as. Let's see if it's WebP. No, it's a JPEG. That's fine. So co founder. Click save. I'm going to use the same lorem ipsum text. So let me go back to my Dreamweaver. Instead of having the image, or actually I said it should be over here. So let me just put it in the same place. I think it would be nice to have one image on the left hand side here and one on the right. But because in my design I said it's supposed to be here, I'm going to leave it there for now. But maybe in my upgrade, my updated version, I'll have it on the right hand side. Just so it looks a bit different. Insert image. Choose next. So it goes inside the box again. Choose co-founder. Click OK. All right. And on the right hand side, let me just copy. Oh, this is getting a bit messy now. Let me highlight all of this. Let me right click, go to copy, click into the second box here, right click, go to paste. And that's it. I've got my thing ready. I'm going to make this bottom image the same size as this one so that it fills out the same space. So I'm going to click on that one, click on control F3 to open properties. That's 241 by 209. Yeah, might as well match that. Click on this one here. Say 241 by 209. So 241. Let's see if it does it automatically. No. I'm going to unclick the padlock so um, the width and height, I can change them individually. 241 by 209. 241. Let's make this 209. My image is going to look a bit weird. Um, so maybe I should just leave it as the original. Yeah, I should probably leave it as the original. So let me undo that and leave it as this. I think that's all right because it matches the same width at least. And that's the main thing. So I found where my tables, well, this table stops. I'm going to insert another table just underneath it here. Insert table. I'm going to need one row, four columns. Yep. Click OK. That should be under here. Perfect. I'm going to add an image here, text here, image here, text here just so that we have something that looks somewhat like what I had on my design. I'm not going to make it exactly how it is, but somewhat close to it. So who else can I grab from the GTA roster? Um, maybe, what's that guy's name again? Trevor. All right, I'm going to grab Trevor. He's the crazy one. Let's just grab this image here. Well, I don't like that one, actually. It's a bit too long. I need some something more round. This one is probably okay. Right click. Uh, actually, this one. <laughs> okay, right click, save image as, just call it Trevor, capital T, save. Let me go ahead and insert that one first. Click inside the box, go to insert, go to image, next, and choose Trevor from the list. Click OK. I'm going to insert the other image here first before I do the text. So I think, who else can I grab from the GTA roster? Um, I like this guy before. He's the Jamaican guy from GTA 4, so I'm just going to grab him just because. Uh, save image as. Um, that's a WebP. Can't use that one. Can't use that. Don't want to use anything with any guns. Don't want to get blocked by YouTube. So let's try this one. Right click. Save, yep, J-A-C-O-B, save, and I'm going to go back to Dreamweaver, click here, go to insert, image, next, and I'm going to choose Jacob from here, it's quite big, so let me bring this down to about this size or smaller, okay, so click on that one there, click on control F3 to bring up the menu, make this one maybe 150, by, oh, let's lock the aspect ratio, actually. 
let's do 150 and it should change that one automatically to 150 so let's do the same for this one here click on it aspect ratio locked already let's do 150 and there we go and right beside it now i'm going to put some text in both of these boxes now this might overlap but it really doesn't matter let me just grab the smallest section of text which is probably this one again this is my lorem ipsum text copy go back to dreamweaver click in there paste now, i'm using shortcuts but you don't have to use shortcuts if you don't want to paste there we go that looks absolutely horrible i need to work out the size of this or move this one over some more but for now i'm going to leave it as it is because i want people to comment to tell me that this does not look good i need to fix it right that's the whole point of this. If everything looks perfect um, from now, they're going to have very little things to say. So I'm going to leave it looking like this. I'm going to leave all these random lines in there. I realized early, um, earlier that this was not actually a JPEG because it has the gray background. I'm going to leave all of that stuff in. You need people to comment on things that you can improve on. So leave some of the stuff broken. Not the best advice for a teacher to give. However, you have to show evidence that you've improved things, that you've worked on things, that you've taken advice from people. And that's probably one of the easiest ways to do it. What else is on my design page? Let me go back. I think that's it. Yeah. Down here, I didn't... Well, I'm going to leave all my social media icons down here. So it's not on my design section here, but I'm going to leave it on my actual website. So when I go to live, let me go to file, real-time preview, Google Chrome. This is what my website looks like for this one. Again, I know this looks a bit awkward. These lines I'm going to get rid of at some point after I have my reviews. But yeah, it's looking really rubbish, but it's looking all right enough for this piece of coursework. So that's it for my About Us page. I'm going to move on to the next page.